We have all grown up conditioned to be afraid. These are words taken from hashtag never again, an autobiographical account that is heart-wrenchingly written by siblings David and Lauren Hogg, survivors of the Parkland, Florida shooting. Their story accentuates the struggle to avoid becoming another statistic in US history, to disregard a growing American culture fixated with whitewashing and avoidance for our own peace of mind. I'm in the unique position of being American, but I have lived my whole life in Australia. Back home, we have regular lockdown procedures throughout school, and I'll never forget my first one. Being 13 years old and being terrified that a shooter was going to walk into my school. I remember that that was the first time that I was exposed to the idea that something that traumatic could happen in an environment that was meant to feel safe. Flash forward five years and I'm living in America for the first time, hearing friend stories of their own lockdown procedures and realizing how much more elaborate they are. You see, in Australia, the chance of being involved in a mass shooting is near impossible. Our last mass shooting was in 1996. The tragedy of those lives lost revolutionized our country and gun control legislations, and we have not had one mass shooting since. So now I'm in America, seated around the TV, watching reports of school shootings every night, and I'm only hearing the sympathetic comments until the nightly news ends. As an outsider currently immersed for the first time in American culture, I've been horrified by the naturalization of mass murder, how temporary our sympathy is, and how lacking our empathy for human suffering is. Our current gun legislations in America are based on the intrinsic American ideal of freedom, but it has been twisted to support a second amendment that no longer protects, but consciously inflicts harm. In searching for free will, America has trapped its citizens in a contemporary monarchy, a political agenda privileging only those with power and wealth. This book highlights the notion that we as humans should possess autonomy over what is happening to us, that this isn't a divine intervention, that this isn't a natural phenomenon. You know what? We can't control our fate and what happens to us, but we we can control gun violence, and the very limited control that we have over our lives and the lives of our children is being denied. This book brings up the notion of learned helplessness, but it's honestly up to us to change the distorted patriotism and social hypocrisy of this nation. This is a humbling, enlightening, and empowering read that everyone needs to pick up. We can no longer be complacent and offer hollow sympathies. We must find our humanity. We need more progressive political action, more reforms to gun regulation and more value of human life. So what can you personally do about it? Number one, get involved with your local council. Number two is voting, and it's so important. Vote in officials that address this view, and if they don't, make them aware of it. Number three is value your personal intention for change. Gather others in a discussion for this topic and make a petition. And number four is what I am doing right now, and that's getting involved in your social media and making your points known. There have been 100 140 mass shootings since Parkland. My name's Momo Chavez, and thank you so much to listening to my review of Never Again. This was an incredible and inspiring book, and I have so many things to say about it, and I really hope you guys take this video seriously, because there is so much that we can do personally to impact change, and I want everyone to be aware of that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video.